Oh, there it goes. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Angel Baby three five seven, and today we're gonna make a cute little flower. All right, we're gonna start with a size four medium yarn and a size five hook, which is best recommended for this yarn or size five and a half will do as well. So we have our size five hook and our size four medium yarn, which you can use for blankets, stuffies, and all sorts of things. We'll start by chaining six. You loop over and pull through. Do that six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's your chain. Go in the last chain. That's in between where it looks like a braid. I'll go in the middle. Loop over again, pull through the first loop, and then just keep going and pull through the second. That's a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. One and two. Now we're going to do a triple crochet. Loop over twice. Make sure you have three loops on your hook. Go through the center and make sure you grab your tail and pull it over. This way we can crochet it in. Loop over, pull through one. Then you want to loop over again. Now you have five loops on your hook. Pull through two. Loop over again, pull through two more. And then loop over one more time and pull through two more. Now I'm left-handed so I hold my hook a lot different than other people who are right-handed. I like to hold it like a pencil upside down. So my two fingers go here, the rest of my hand wraps around. And I have a habit of, instead of going like that with my hook, I tend to go like that with my other hand. So I'll do that twice. And don't forget it all goes by twos, so just remember to pull through two each time. We'll go through it one last time before we just keep finish the petal. You're going to have me loop over twice, which means you have three loops on your hook. Go through the center, loop over, pull through. That's four loops on your hook. Now loop over again. Five loops on your hook, pull through two. Loop again, pull through two. Loop again, pull through two. Now you have four half double crochets. Do a single crochet by going through the hole first. Loop over, pull through all the way. Now you'll have two loops on your hook. Loop over again. You have three loops and pull that string nice and tight and go through both loops on your hook. Now we're just going to chain two, one and two. Go straight into your half double crochet and start your next paddle. Remember, everything goes by twos. If I went too fast for you, don't forget at the top right corner, you have a settings option, which means you can slow it down. I may sound a little funny, but watch my hands and follow along, and you should have no problem at all making this cute, adorable flower, which is great for beginners. If you can figure out this flower, everything else will come second nature to you. Now you have four triple crochets. You can count them just by sticking your finger in between. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do a single crochet, go through the center again. Now pull through, chain two. Now do your half double crochet. Remember, everything's in twos. Now 
Yeah, I get a lot of my patterns through old books from this place called Granny's Attic. I know that there's plenty of good, nice videos on YouTube. I prefer the older style stuff. I'm just a little different that way. Make sure to squeeze your flower together so that you can make room for the next one. Now everyone does a slip stitch in the end of for this. That's what the instructions say. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna come out a little weird. So we're gonna stop on our single crochet right here. No, we're not. I'm gonna add another petal. I think it looks nicer. And we'll just squeeze all these guys together. Now, if your yarn's stretchy like mine, your petals are not gonna be the same size, but that's perfectly fine. If you have something like a cotton yarn, it will not stretch, so therefore your petals will all stay the same size. I'll show you how to adjust the petal size in just a moment. Okay, now we're at the end. We're on our fifth petal. I personally like five instead of four. We're gonna take our hook, go through the center, pull over, two loops on your hook, and just do a slip stitch right through. Pull out your yarn a nice good distance. Take your scissors and snip it right through the loop. Now you're gonna pull out this excess and get rid of it. For the slip, st slip stitches, pull it nice and tight. Go take your yarn through the bottom, pull through, make a knot, pull it tight. If your tail is in the same place as your flower, you can always tie those together for extra security. Since this might go onto a blanket, I'm going to leave my tail ends out and open. And now we're just going to space it accordingly. You're going to stretch out your cute little petals and just make them look all even. And now if they're completely out of wonk and they don't look like this, mm -hmm. you have to learn to control your tension. So this is your flower. Very cute and very adorable. Now, you can also do this and turn it into a granny square since it has four corners. If you do a four corner flower, you can easily turn it into a beautiful mm -hmm. granny square. We can start on the smaller flower. This one will come out a different shape and size. For this yarn is a small thin <coughs> cotton rope yarn. It is significantly different from a four medium. It's a two lightweight yarn. This came from Walmart. This is from Red Heart and it's just a lavender. This is just pink, pink or petal colored. So for this one, we'll do exactly the same as we did before. Just because it's smaller doesn't mean it will take more. Okay. Now we'll chain six, as we learned, did before. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And do the exact same thing you did for the big flower. One slip stitch. Move your tail back. Don't get them confused, it would be very sad. And then you're gonna chain two. One and two. 
half double crochet exactly the same with thinner yarn and go by twos takes a bit more practice to get this thin yarn for half four single crochet chain two now do your half double crochet it takes a bit longer to make it with a thinner yarn but I think it's gonna look very cute on a purse Your attention is key here. You see how my yarn is nice and tight? So when I go to make my chain, it's not too tight that it's like, uh, you want it just nice. Taut, but not too tight. So this is your mini flower. They're the same thing, just a different size. It's almost like a little star too. Make it in yellow, but it will pass as a cute little star. So that's it for today. Now we've got our two flowers. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Stay tuned later for some mini snowman. Bye guys.